Hey guys, I don't have to introduce him, but it's George Linder. He's here with me again to catch up. Welcome to the show again, George. Uh, first and foremost, how you been? Uh, it's been a quite a, some, a long time since we last spoke. A lot has been going down, obviously, in your career. How are you feeling about your, your, yourself, uh, about your game currently? Uh, and obviously, you've spent some time overseas too, so, so how are you feeling? Kind of? Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good now. I had a tough year, to be honest. Uh, mentally, I was struggling with all the stuff happening. Um, but now, uh, okay, I'm injured now. But since, since I got injured a month, a month and a half ago, I just sat back a bit and then thought to myself what I have to do to get in a, in a good space again. And I had, a, I had a good chat to myself and um, I'm back to where I was a couple of years ago. Yeah, in professional sport, it's unfortunate that a lot of players go through mental struggles. It's not something that everybody uh, knows how to deal with. Can you give some insight to maybe other cricketers and how you got through that and what you've learned about that experience? Yeah, it's a difficult one because I've not chatted to anyone. Like I, I chat to myself, um, so I'm quite hard on myself. But um, I just took a step away from cricket for a bit, uh, a couple of weeks or so. I'm back training again anyway, but but um, I'm I'm more focused on the smaller things rather than the bigger picture. Um, because I know now I know things will fall into place. It's because I was battling with myself to to force myself to do well all the time, yeah. which is impossible. Um, so yeah, now I realise it's it's the smaller things that's gonna get you to the bigger picture. If that makes sense, I don't, I don't know even what I'm saying, but, no, of course. but um, I'm trying. Yeah. I'm Afrikaans. <laughs> He's doing a great job, guys. So uh, George, you got picked up at the SA20. That was that was a big thing, of course. Um, for, for decent money as well. That's why they were making so many jokes today about the beers on you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, know. I still have to get taxed, so then, then we'll talk. <laughs> so, uh, where were you when you found out the news and how are you feeling about it? Yeah, I actually drove home um, and then just as I stopped, well, just as I got home, I uh, switched on the TV and then my name popped on, on, on the TV. Not convenient. Yeah, and then... <laughs> Um, yeah, and then it went up and it went up, and then for some reason I sat on the remote, and the TV went uh, went off, and then I had to put it on again, and then I stood up, put the TV on, struggled to get there. As soon as I got there, I looked at the mount and I was like, okay, I'm not going to say what I said, but I sat down. And I was like, oh my word, and then um, yeah, it just went up, and yeah. Well, I'm happy. I'm not complaining, but it was good. Uh, I made the same mistake, but maybe it's not in such a life-changing moment. It's Rooney almost scored a goal. Sat on the remote before Rooney scored the goal. Everybody in the room was upset with me, so we, we all go through that. But from your perspective, uh, looking forward to the new season, what are your goals, what are your aims, and I can see how focused you are. Yeah, look, um, the main the main thing is to, to play for Western Province, do well for them. Um, Hopefully win a trophy. Um, I, I think we are due to, to win a trophy. I feel like this is the time this season. Uh, we've got a great bunch of uh, players, um, good coaching staff, we ready. Um, yeah, and personally I just want to do well for the team. I mean, you're looking at higher honours again. Um, do, you, do you focus, do you look at the higher honours and dream about that or vision, envision that? Or do you focus on the now, trying to do what you need to do to get back there? Yeah, look, obviously my main goal is to get back into the national side. I wanna, I really want to go to the World Cup next year, hopefully get another opportunity because I feel like I deserve it, to be honest. People might think different, but I don't, I don't care what you guys or what they think, but I feel like I've, my numbers is talking. Um, and I'm really hungry to, to play for them again. Um, yeah win the trophy uh, World Cup for, for SA because I feel like we really deserve it and I'm, I've got a good feeling um, that we're actually going to bring the trophy back home, the T20 World Cup. Um, I, I really think so. Uh, you can save this, you can save this because I just know, I, I can just feel it and normally I'm, I'm very good with these, with these predictions. So, so yeah, but personally I, I really want to get back into into the protein colors. That's excellent.
Um, good luck for the season, George. Um, it's great talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.